In this short talk through, we're taking a look at Moises. It's a site that lets you create acapellas and instrumentals from any music file. And it does this using machine learning and AI. So the way it works is you sign up for an account, you upload a track to it, and then you choose how many track stems you want it to extract. And then you just sit back and wait for it to do its job. So we're gonna take a look at it in this review and we'll also have a quick demo of what it can do towards the end. As always, please like, share, and subscribe. Now, let's get straight to it. All right, so pull up your browser and point it to moises.ai, like I've done over here. And then just click on process your music. And here we're gonna be able to create an account. Now I've already made one, so I just need to enter my login details over in here. All right, and this is the Moises dashboard. So any tracks that you upload will show up in here. You're gonna find the status, whether it's already been processed or not, and if it's queued or something like that. And you're also gonna find the date as well as the title and the ability to download it. Now I've got two songs in here already because I was testing this out, but right now we're gonna upload a track and we're going to do some separation. So I'm gonna click on upload track. I'm gonna choose track separation. Here we go. And now I have the option to select a file or search YouTube. I'm going to select a file. Here we are. Now, if I scroll down, we've got this extraction type drop down. If I click on this, we're going to find five different types of extraction. So the first one is one stem drumless. And this basically removes the drums from the track that you upload. And you're going to be able to download a single file without the drums. That's why it's one stem. Now the next option is one stem baseless, and this is gonna remove the low end information or the base information from your tune. And you're gonna be able to get one file as well. And next up is one stem vocals, bass drums only. So this is essentially going to remove the accompaniment of the track. So if you've got guitars in there, if you've got pianos, if you've got synths, it's going to try to extract that from the song. And again, since this is a one stem extraction, you're only gonna get one file. So next up, you've got two stems, vocals and accompaniment. So this means that when you upload a track and you choose this option, you're gonna be able to download two files. The first file will be a vocal acapella, meaning it won't have any backing instruments. It will just be the vocals themselves. And the second file will be the music or the instrumental, meaning it will be a file that won't have the vocals. So there you go. Now the final option here is four stems, vocals, bass, drums, and others. So yes, just like it sounds, you're gonna get four files here, the vocal file, the bass file, the drums file, and the other, and the other basically, you know, piano, guitars, the other accompanying instruments in the track. Now there's one locked option here, the five stems option. And there's something that you can get when you choose the premium version of this service. So let's just take a quick look right now at the different subscription tiers. So I'm gonna click on learn more and then you can see two tiers here for users. The first one is free. And this means you can upload five tracks and you've got a five minute maximum length. Plus you also have an MP3 download plus files get stored in the dashboard for three days. If you go with premium, which comes in at $3.33 per month, this could change depending on when you watch this, you get unlimited uploads, a longer duration, 20 minutes per track. You also have the files in your dashboard for as long as you are a premium subscriber. Plus you also get the five stems option is what we mentioned earlier. And most importantly, you're able to download the files in WAV format. When you're with the free version, you only get the files as MP3s. When you go with premium, you get WAV, so you get it in as high quality as possible. Now, the third option here is for companies and other corporate clients, so you don't need to bother with that. So let's just head on back. Here we are. And let's go select that file again. Here we go. And I am going to go ahead and choose four stems just so we can hear what Moises does to a track. Here we go. Now I'm going to click Submit. All right, so we're back at the dashboard. And as you can see over here at the top, we've got our song. 
So you've got the track over here at the top as well as the status. It's currently being processed. So we have to wait a few minutes for this to finish processing. Once that's done, we're going to be able to download. Basically, this queued indicator over here will turn into a download indicator, just like what you see at the other two tracks are in here. And while we're waiting for this to process, why don't we upload another track? So I'm going to click upload track. All right, let's upload this remix of a Diana Ross classic. So this time, I'm going to go to the extraction type and let's choose two stems. Let's hear how this goes. There we go. Now let's wait for this to finish processing. All right, so both of our tracks are now finished processing. So let's have a listen. I'm going to click on the first track over here, click on the download icon. And now we're going to be able to preview all four stems. So let's do that right now. I'm going to hit play. All right, so not so bad. You could still hear the vocal pumping from time to time as a result of the extraction process kind of sounds like there's some noise canceling going on, like when you're doing a Zoom or a Skype call, right? But overall, it's pretty good. So let's just move a little bit over here towards the center of the track. Yeah, now over here at this point, it kind of sounds a bit too muffled now. And Granted, this is a lo-fi house song, but when I produced this, I made sure that the vocals were pretty clear during that portion. So this pretty much tells me that it wasn't doing a particularly good job during that part of the song. But well, don't expect to have like super clean studio quality acapellas here. Again, this is like a quick and dirty way to make acapellas from you know standard music files so that's it for the vocals let's have a listen to the drums let's see if this sounded better so you could still hear a bit of the vocal in there but it's pretty much removed now that's good Plus, I don't hear the other instruments too much, so it's doing a better job for the drums, I feel. But yeah, you can still hear a bit of that aliasing, which kind of sounds like noise cancellation. Alright, so that's it for the drums. Let's listen to the bass. Now the bass doesn't sound so good, it loses a lot of the definition, which I made point to add when I was producing this track. And it kind of sounds a bit compressed or more compressed than usual. Plus it sounds, it sounds like there's a flange effect to it, which I'm not a huge fan of. So in my opinion, it doesn't sound like it's doing a good job, particularly uh, with the bass for this song. So yeah, I would say the drums sounded a lot better. And after that, the vocals sounded decent, but for the bass, it's a no for me. All right, now let's go to other. Now these are basically the other accompanying instruments. So I got a piano in here, a keyboard and a synth. Yes, it sounds okay, not so bad. I can hear a bit of the vocal in there though. can also hear a bit of the hi-hats. So again, it's not perfect. Just adjust your expectations. You're not gonna get studio quality results with a service like this, at least not yet, because this is based on 
an AI that gets trained with every song that gets uploaded. So in theory, over time, it will get better at separating these elements. But at the moment, as you already heard, the quality of the extraction varies from instrument to instrument. I think out of these four stems, the drums sounded the best and they're pretty okay. They're usable. The vocals are also kind of decent. Uh, it's not perfect. Um, there were some aliasing that I didn't like, but at the same time, you know, if you're just going to be creating a bootleg remix or you know, if you want to make an acapella that you can drop live at gigs, I think this is going to be good enough. So once you've had a listen to all of these tracks, you can simply go to the download tab over here and just choose whether you want to download the vocals, drums, bass, or the other stem. So I'm just going to go and click on them and right click and choose save audio as. Now again, these are all MP3 files because we're just using the free account. If you want to download high resolution WAV files, you're going to have to sign up for the premium account. So that's it. You can also open these on the mixer feature in Moises. There we go. And if you hit play on here, it's going to play all four stems at the same time and you can adjust the levels of the four stems. Once you adjusted them, you can then download the mix. So this is nice if you want to readjust the mix of a track. For instance, you have a song in your collection where you want to boost the vocal a little bit. You can upload it here to Moises, extract the stems, and then go to the web mixer, which is what we're seeing on screen right now. And then you can just lower the drums, lower the bass, lower the other stem. And then, you know, you can increase the vocals if you want to, you can just keep them at the same level. Or if you feel like the vocals are too loud, you can just lower the volume of the vocals in order for them to sit better in the mix. So let's hear how that sounds. Let's play the song. And then let's try muting the vocal. It's pretty cool. It's kind of like having a DAW over here, or at least a mixer section of a DAW. And then let's try lowering the drums. You can do that too. Pretty cool. You can remove the bass. Or you can remove the other instruments here. Yeah, so there's a lot of things that you can do. And once you're done doing that, you can then click on download mix if you are a premium user. So if you're a DJ producer who makes a lot of bootleg remixes or you know, you're know you a live performer and you like layering vocals from one song on top of instrumental of another track and you know making mashups and that kind of thing, this is something that you may want to subscribe to and get the premium version just so you can make all of these little changes as well as to download them in high resolution wave as opposed to just mp3s right it's pretty cool let's go back and before we end this talk through why don't we check out the other sound that we uploaded this one's from diana ross the boss click on this so now instead of choosing four stems i just opted for two so this is basically a vocal acapella the vocal stem and an instrumental which is the accompaniment so i'm just going to play the accompaniment first Yeah, so it's doing a pretty good job of removing the vocal. You can still hear a bit of it over in the music, but it's not as apparent. Yeah, so definitely if you want to layer another vocal on top of this one, if you want to make a mashup, this would work. This would suffice. It's pretty good. Now let's have a listen to the vocal acapella and see how Moise is fared. Yeah, so again, if you are a mashup artist, a DJ producer, or you like performing with stems, uh, using NI stems, uh, Native Instruments is file format, which basically has four tracks or four stems within a single file. If you like DJing with that, or you know, if you're like Roger Sanchez or Richie Houghton and you like mixing in acapellas, 
while you're performing and layering them on top of other instruments. This is something that you'll want to check out. Again, results vary depending on the song that you upload, the style, and that kind of thing. But the only way to really find out whether it's for you is to try it out for yourself. And that's why there is a free trial for this one. So you get to upload five songs per month. And, you know, it's not that expensive to sign up for the premium as well. So if you end up trying it out and you like it, you're not going to be spending a lot in order to use this service. So that's it for our look at Moises. Again, it's not perfect, but for quick and dirty acapellas and instrumental making, it does the job. I've got a full review of it over at the Digital DJ Tips site. Don't forget to check it out. Now get good, get out there, and make the moments.